have you. Take a stretch. Take a stretch with me. A whole big stretch. Do you know the, another stretch with me? Take another stretch. Another stretch. Oh, yes. You're stretching too. You're stretching too. Oh, mwah. Mwah. Here, pull me. Good help. One of our main sources of exercise is yoga, and fortunately or unfortunately, depending on your perspective, the pups like to help us when we work out. As we head north up the Chesapeake, we pass Bloody Point Bar Lighthouse, which marks the entrance to the Eastern Bay. It is a 37-foot tall cast iron tower. It was purchased at a 2006 auction for $100,000. So we were headed to Baltimore. That was our initial plan, but we've decided to reroute. Why have we decided to reroute and where we were routing to? Well, the captain asked the Admiral whether or not she was up to jumping on a mooring ball if they were available in Annapolis. Both would be a nice sail over to Annapolis, and since it's just after uh, the 4th of July, that there may be a lot of open mooring balls there. So, we are going over to Annapolis. Yes, I've only been to Annapolis to go to the boat show. So, you kind of stay in the boat show area and maybe check out the restaurant. So, I have not actually seen I will be Annapolis. Your I will be your personal guide, because <laughs> my son and I did segues all over the place. So I have a good understanding of Annapolis. So. Good, good. Yeah. It'll be it'll be fun to see Annapolis outside of the boat show craziness. Exactly. <laughs> so we'll uh, ding in. We'll have coffee. There's a bunch of different restaurants all around. And frankly, it's a skip and a hop to our house, which we haven't been to the house in a month. And <laughs> a month. so we'll probably just jump over there, see how the house is doing, uh, give us all a little bit of time off the boat and uh, then hop back on and hopefully by then we'll uh, have the interest to go to, to Baltimore. We head down the Severn River into Spa Creek where we'll be staying on a mooring ball near the Naval Academy. In preparation, Jim rigs mooring lines to the forward cleats on each hull. Both lines will need to go through the pennant on the mooring ball to square the boat up. Nobis, did you give up on your boat insurance work? Boat insurance looks like it's not quite done yet. I know, it's a horrible thing to do. Hey mom, is boat insurance a horrible thing to deal with? It's definitely time consuming. We are moored on one of the 40 mooring balls in front 40 for vessels up to 55 feet. These are available on a first come, first serve basis. 
After securing Lab Mariner, we head down Eagle Alley. This is where speedboats glide to a stop to show up to dockside crowds by executing a pivot in the narrow waterway. We're not here, however, to show off our boat. We're here to show off our labs. starts coming in. <laughs> I guess by Saturday it's going to be crazy. He wants love. Are you giving them all love? What do you want? Mocha's like, do I was getting too Gave me the butt love. This is giving his turbot too. <laughs> yeah. Got the butt. All I gotta do is smoke You know you her. have come to Shangri-La when the dogs are giving their butt love. <laughs> no, nope. she's giving me consistent butt love. So it's Nubis. <laughs> it's just Nubis. Mocha doesn't know how to get himself in. He's like, how do I get some love? Usually I just pant heavily in your ear. We enjoy a lovely sunset overlooking downtown Annapolis. Toward the end of our one week stay, a mono hall arrives in the mooring field, complete with a bagpipe kit. During their stay, we are serenaded twice daily, once in the morning and once in the evening by bagpipe music. And just as you can never have too much cowbell, I have come to find that you can never have too much bagpipe.
We pass by the Spa Creek Bascule Bridge connecting downtown Annapolis and Eastport watching a yacht pass through. The drawbridge opens every half hour and hour except during rush hour traffic. The drawbridge has a horizontal clearance of 68 feet so with our 24 foot beam we could easily pass through. He's taking a picture of our dogs. We head to a public dinghy dock in Eastport. Annapolis is super friendly for boaters and provides free dinghy okay docks located at 22 okay Street and All right, good. Where are we? Uh, boat yard, bar and grill. Very good. What are you having? That looks really yummy. Ahi tuna and it's a salad. Tuna salad, yes. And you're having fish and chips. I am. And now it's time to eat. The walla is splayed out, desperately trying to find remnants of food. Did you find anything? <laughs> She's desperate. Oh, no, no, no. You don't need the straw. You don't need the straw. No, no, no. No straw for new the walla. Walla. That's you, Nubis. We got a yellow dog over here. Or is that a brown dog? It's a yellow brown dog. It's a yellow brown dog. Is that Woka or is that New Alla? It's both. See it from Nubis's perspective. I pose with the Lab Mariners at the Conta Quinte Alex Haley Memorial, which depicts Alex Haley reading a book to three children. So we've been in Annapolis for a week now. What were some of your favorite things about Annapolis? Feeling like it's the capital of the sailing world. There were so many boats, like every place you went, it was boats, boats, boats. All different All types. Of different types. Super yachts. Tons to of sailboats small one two night uh, uh, little sailboats that you could uh, stay overnight on and the moorings which are right next to Annapolis are fun which we've been on for the last week. Yes one thing I liked about it was that as I said I've only been here for the boat show so it was fun to come here when the boat show wasn't coming and actually yeah. walk around the town because you don't seem to have time when the boat show's here. The uh, boat show is huge here, and it took us a few days just to figure out how they <laughs> squeezed the entire boat show into this marina because it just felt like the marina had to be two or three times as large to facilitate the boat show. Yeah, but, figure out where the floating docks yeah. would go, right. and feels like they probably build all the way out into half of the harbor here. Yes, which they probably do. So, so what do you think the dogs liked about Annapolis? Um, all the attention from the, <laughs> the people who uh, we saw around. them. Yeah, the kids loved them. The parents loved them. The ducks. I think they all liked the ducks. Yeah, they did like the ducks. <laughs> I think they liked going down Ego Alley with us because we were showing off our docks. Most people show off their boats when they go down Ego yeah. Alley, but we were showing off our docks. Exactly. <laughs> they got a lot of uh, attention. They, they did. did. <laughs> So hopefully we will be back again, other than at the boat show. Right. 